Hello dear viewers, today's video is going to be about implant level digital impressions using the 3 Shape Trios 3 intraoral scanner. You all must have seen one of the previous videos on a single unit implant level scan, but this time it's going to be even bigger with 4 biodenta implants in the lower arch. So let's quickly move chair side where everything is set up and the patient is ready to be scanned. So these are biodenta implants which were placed 3 months ago and now the patient is here to get the prosthetics done. Biodenta is a Swiss system which is extremely versatile, a very easy protocol and with extremely simple prosthetic options. As you can see these are all B2 platforms and I have the healing abutments in place here. For implant scans, there are two major steps involved apart from the usual workflow. There's a scan of the emergence profiles which is to be followed by stitching of the scan bodies. The easiest way to do this is by scanning the arch with the healing abutments in place first by following the usual scan strategy. I can then choose the trim tool to cut the healing abutments out of the scans. After this, the healing abutments are removed using the hex driver and the emergence profiles are recorded in the same scan. This will give the technician a great deal of information about the soft tissue emergence for this case. I do this on both the sides so that all four implant emergence profiles can be scanned. We now move on to the next step of the implant level scan sequence which is the scan bodies. So these are the scan bodies from Biodenta which I am going to use for this case. They just use like any other implant components, you can just pick them up with a hex driver and place them onto the implants and tighten the screw. All I have to do now is just record the position of these scan bodies and making the scanner stitch the information to the original scan. Now these scan bodies will convey the 3D position of the implants to the lab with great accuracy. So here you can see that my lower scan is ready and I can now go ahead with scanning the opposing arch. With 3Shape it's a very seamless experience doing all of these scans which makes it possible to make implant impressions digitally. I have also removed the scan bodies and replaced the healing abutments back so that I can scan the patient's occlusion on both sides. So this completes my clinical workflow and this is what I am going to send to the lab. It's very important to have good definition on the scan bodies which can be checked easily on the STL file. You can see that the flat surfaces on the scan bodies have been scanned clearly since the technician will use them to align the virtual scan bodies on the CAD software. So in this way we can very effectively eliminate all manual steps which are likely to give some sort of an error. The files are then received by the technician in a matter of minutes and here the technician starts aligning the scan bodies on the scan with the digital library in the CAD software and designs the processes. We have planned milled screw retained PFM restorations for this particular case. So the patient is back for the second visit and we have the prosthesis delivered along with the 3D printed models. This is where I now try the prosthesis inside the patient's mouth and they look absolutely perfect, nice and passive. And that's the other side. After verifying occlusion, I can go ahead and torque these bridges into place using the Biodenta torque wrench. I just need to now block this access hole and for this I will place some Teflon inside the channel so that my composite doesn't clog the screw heads. After this, it's all just routine work. I can just plug in some composite to block the access hole. And that's the final outcome which thanks to the digital workflow becomes extremely accurate and the results are highly predictable. Thank you friends for joining me for this case. As always, please use the comment section below to put down any questions that you may have on what you just saw. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay connected with Chairside Education. See you next time.